Okay. You said you had something to tell me about charity. What is it? It's just that... Charity really needs to rest with everything that's been going on around here lately. And with you hovering around her all the time... I'm hurting her more than I'm helping her. That's why you insisted we take a walk. You want me to get Miguel away from charity? Of course I do. And you owe me. So if you ever want your soul back, you'll do as I say. Something told me it was just important for her to be alone. You know, I, I hear what you're saying. I, I just can't shake this feeling that, that something's not right. Yeah, I, I want to go back to the house and check on her. No, Miguel, wait. I'm sure Charity is fine. I can't help but feel that something's not right with Charity. I'm going back to the house to no, check on her. No, Miguel, you can't. Okay, what's wrong? It's like you're trying to keep me away from Charity. You're right. I am. Why? Do you want me, Gail, or not? Well, of course, but... Well, well then, wanna... with Charity out of the way, he'll be yours, and you'll have your soul back. It's so awful, Miguel. I... I tried to deal with this on my own, but I can't anymore, and I need help. What is it, Kay? What do you need help with? You don't have to pretend with me. All right, I know Charity's visions upset you. You know, when you need someone to talk to, but Simone's been too busy, you know, and you, you can't really talk to Jess or your parents because... You don't want to upset them any more than they already are. After all the weird stuff that's happened. Especially those ravens swarming your house. You don't know how hard this has been. Yes, I do. And we both still remember what happened down there in the mine. Tabitha's doll coming to life. You know, in that, that cave with the weird mirror in it. You know, and all the other strange stuff that that gas down there made us stay. You know, so I understand you needing someone to talk to, you know, someone who understands. And I want you to know that I'll always be here for you. Oh, you're so good to me. I don't deserve it. Of course you do. You're my best friend, Kay. Charity's too. You always make me feel better, Michael. Glad I could help. Can you just hold me for a little bit longer, please? Okay. <whistles> Did you hear that? It sounded like Charity screaming. I'm sure it was just the wind or something. We're too far from the house for you to hear Charity. Yeah. I, I guess you're right. You know, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Kay. I just... I can't help feeling that something's wrong with Charity. I mean, how she's at home in bed sleeping, Nick. What could possibly be wrong with her? I don't know, but I have to go home and check on her. No, Miguel, wait! Charity, hang on, I'm coming! Oh, <laughs> my 